Configuring the menu G1 BLE Wi Fi Gateway. Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be walking you through today's demo. You will need an AWS account to set up the gateway. We have a video on that process on this channel. The gateway does not come with a USB charger, so you want to make sure you purchase one of those before you start getting set up. Plug in and power up the gateway by pressing the on button located to the left of the power input. The LEDs on the top of the unit should light up. Look for and join the Gateway's Wi-Fi network. The SSID name should start with GW. There is no initial password required to join the network. We're going to be setting that up in a few moments. Type the following IP address into your browser and admin is the initial password as well as the username. So type that in and press the login button. You'll get a pop-up reminding you to change the admin password. Scroll down to the admin password area, enter a password in the new password field, and enter that password again in the confirm password field, and press the apply button. You will get a success pop-up confirming the password change. Click OK. We're going to set up our gateway to repeat an existing Wi-Fi network. Click on the Network tab and enable the Repeater option by toggling the switch on the right side. Choose the available SSID you want to join, add the password, and press the Connect button. You will get a pop-up asking you to reboot the gateway to save the changes. Press the Reboot button. We set up a password for the admin console for this gateway already. Now we're going to rename the gateway's SSID, this is the name of the Wi-Fi network for the gateway, and the password that Wi-Fi network will be using. Join the gateway's network and log into the admin console just as you did before. Scroll down to the AP configuration area and set up a name for the gateway and enter the password you'd like to use for it and press the apply button. You will get a pop-up asking you to reboot the gateway to save the changes. Press the reboot button. Now let's get this device set up on the AWS IoT core. Log in to AWS and find and choose the IoT core from the home page. We are going to start by creating a policy for the gateway to use. So choose Secure Policies from the menu bar to the left on the IoT Core home screen. Then click on the Create button in the upper right hand corner to create a new policy. On the next screen, name the policy and under Add Statements, start typing IoT and choose IoT asterisk from the drop down. For the resource ARN, we're going to use asterisk once again so we can use the policy for any resource. Select the Allow checkbox under Effect and press the Create button in the lower right. Okay, now that we have a policy, we're ready to create a thing. Choose Manage Things in the menu bar to the left and press the Create button in the upper right. Choose Create a Single Thing. Give your gateway a name. You can add types of things and groups if you have more than one gateway. I've added some tips about naming conventions in the description of this video. Scroll down and you'll see a spot to add key value pairs of attributes to make this gateway or other things really easy to find. You've got a ton of things. 
Press the Next button in the lower right-hand corner. To use a device with the AWS IoT Core, the device must be loaded with a certificate. You can create a certificate for the AWS Core here. Choose one-click certificate creation and click Create Certificate next to it. Download the certificates and save them in a safe place. We will also need a root certificate for our organization. Click on the link right above the Activate button. This will open up a new window. We are going to use the first type of certificate under Amazon Trust Services Endpoints. This will create the certificate in a new browser window. Copy the generated text and paste it into a text editor and save the file as ca.crt. Return to the AWS Certificate screen and press the Activate button. Next, scroll down and click on the Attach a Policy button. Select the policy we just created and press the Register Thing button in the lower right-hand corner. You should now see your gateway in the list of things. Click on it. Click on Interact on the menu bar to the left and make note of the ARN for this thing. We will be updating our gateway's configuration using this endpoint. Now we're going to set up the gateway itself so it can use the AWS Core. Save the certificates you just generated to a USB key drive. Insert that into the USB port on the gateway. Join the Wi-Fi network for the gateway and log in to the admin console. Choose the service tab and make sure MQTT is chosen in the drop-down menu under Service Access. In the URL drop-down, choose SSL and enter the endpoint you saved when you set up the gateway on AWS. Make sure USB is chosen in the Upload Way drop-down menu and enter the file names of your organization root certificate, the certificate for this device, and the private key for this device. Press all three upload buttons. You should get a success confirmation pop-up after each button press. Scroll down and save the changes to the gateway by pressing the Apply button in the lower right-hand corner. You should get a success pop-up. On the Service tab of the Gateway Admin tool, you should see the default topic the Gateway is publishing to. Copy this topic. Log back on to AWS, choose the IoT service, choose Manage Things, and select your Gateway. Choose Activity from the menu bar on the left. Click on MQTT Client in the upper right-hand corner. Paste the default topic you copied from the Gateway Admin Council into the first text box and press the Subscribe to Topic button to the right. You should now see the MQTT messages from your iBeacons and sensors in the Council. Congratulations! You now have a working MQTT connection with AWS. You can see how to send alerts and measure the data you are gathering over time in other videos on this channel. See you next time! Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.